I said it a thousand times. You get out of those pagan, satanic, religious, Christian churches. Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible. Christians do what they want to do. They make up their own laws, their own rules, and their own regulations. Come out of her, my people, and come out from among them. And it's real simple and easy to ascertain who are these people you need to come out from. Easy. Number one. If they keep Sunday, that's an automatic sign that you need to not have any fellowship with these commandment-breaking, wicked deceivers and seducers and bewitchers of the truth. Simple.
Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Greetings to each and every last one of you in the sweet, precious, and strong, and victorious, and mighty overcoming name of our soon coming King Yahshua Hamashiach, 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 Jesus the Christ. Um, you're going to need something to write with today. Why is it doing that? It never usually do that. I think I got it down now. Okay. But um, we're going to go over a very, 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 very important subject topic here, all right? Bless all y'all Israelites out there scattered across the this globe, and I want to put emphasis on this, and I want to make emphasis on this, and I need for y'all to listen to me very closely. We are in the disparia, meaning we are still in slavery, or uh, called captivity. The only way we will not be in captivity is when the Messiah comes, and we are in our own land able to keep the commandments. Hallelujah. So I need everybody to truly listen. Because you're going to get something out of this. But not only that. It's going to tell you how important. Uh, your soul salvation is. Alright. And it's going to give you even a greater understanding. Of why we are the people. Who we are. And what the Most High Yah has done. All right, if I'm coming in good, let me know. Let's get started by saying, Heavenly Father, we do thank you for this day. We do humble ask request, magnificent name of Jesus, for some understanding, comprehension, that it will continue to be open. We thank you for opening up our hearts, calling us, writing our names down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Today we want to be able to receive the engrafted word of Yah, which is able to save our soul, and hopefully that we as a people can realize how important it is what you have done with us and still to us in this day and hour we live living in. So speak to them who are ordained to eternal life, increase their understanding even more so, and those you, you have and are calling in to kill off the old man continually daily and to continue to strive to enter in at the straight gate. In the magnificent name of Jesus, Yahshua, Hallelujah. All right. Amen. Last night, Satan was fighting us hard. And um, T's been here working on his computer and everything else. And and boy, I tell you, um, I didn't get, you know what? I didn't get to finish my comparison last night, so I'll do it now. How about that? All right. Of course, you know, I always go through the same old safety. Weapon clear, pointing in a safe direction. All right. Nothing in the magazine. All right, here we go. Before we get started here, we're going to talk about a natural sword. And last night, we were speaking about this bad boy right here. This bad boy right here. That is the Springfield. Armory, Hellcat, subcompact, three inch. Brother Gideon saw it last night and immediately wanted to shoot it. So the one thing I wanted to uh, say about this that I didn't get to finish last night was is that even if you had gloves on, you know, if you're in a tactical situation, you got gloves on. Look how big the finger port is. Look, you got plenty of room. So when you're going to draw to get your finger in there, get your finger, wow, get it in there, push forward, in there, push forward, plenty of room, look at the room compared to the port on the Glock 17, see it, see the Glock 17, and then here is the Hellcat, now we've cleared them to make sure that both are clear. 
I want to be able to show you the difference on the back side. Check this out. See the back side difference? How thin it is, smaller. All right, watch this. Now, with Glock 17 without a mag in it, you can see that it, I still got plenty of room. Plenty of room, even if I had a mag in it. Plenty of room. Eject the mag still because it had a bullet in it. Clear point of safe direction, always safety. Um, and that's a full size Glock 17. This is the Hellcat, and you can see that my pinky is halfway on this one. Now check this out. The Glock 17 has 17 plus one, 17 rounds and one in a chamber. That's a full size. What's amazing about this little subcompact right here is that this is a 13 plus one. That's 14 rounds in a little small subcompact. Look how small mini. You can call it whatever you want. I don't know what you want to call it, but that's a lot of rounds. Yes. For this little bitty thing. But not only that, look at this. All right, if I take out the magazine, like I do have in both of them, and I put these things side by side, I want you to see the difference. Look at the difference in the full size and the subcompact. I'm trying to get them both in there. Look at that. Is that not a great big difference? Now, again, this one shoots a hell of a lot better than this one does, but this one will get the job done. Um, the smaller you go, the more it's going to beat up your hand because it's still a 9mm. It's still a 9mm. All right, we back loaded. Locked and loaded. We're getting ready to get loaded on this word. Loaded up on this word. But um, I think it's a really, really good weapon. I truly do. Uh-oh, where you at? Oh, man. I used to be able to shoot with both eyes open. I think that this optics, this... This MOA right here is going to help me to be able to shoot with both eyes open again because my eyes, you know, as I got older and after you start using reading glasses, things start to run together. Oh, yeah. um, but so this is going to actually help increase speed uh, with this dot. Now, you know, many of you already know I showed you last night. This one got the, oh, you can't see it. See the dot? Uh-oh. I'll try to leave it still for a second, but you can see the dot. See it? Uh-oh. Let me try one more time. Uh, there you go. See the dot? On the zero. It's there. On the one. There it is. You can see it. Um, so I'm going to put some more rounds through this. I, haven't, I only put about 50 through it. So first day, hopefully, be the fall as well. I can put some more rounds through it and get more familiar with it. Maybe my new carry. Glory to the king. Everybody say, yeah, we can see it. Hallelujah. And um, myself personally, this is just my personal opinion. Um, as it stands right now, I still prefer the laser above iron sights and above this MOA. Then I will put this MOA second, then iron sights. But iron sights always the reliability is always there because you don't need, you do not need a secondary power source. I mean, you still always familiarize yourself with your weapon with the iron sights, always. All right, so everybody's doing well. Philippines gives a thumbs up there in the house. Today. We're going to be doing a teaching on a lesson about saviors and savior. Savior and saviors as plural and savior. All right. 
and we're going to get a comprehension and understanding what the Bible says. I know that many people kick at many different philosophies and stuff, but you know, I'm going to say some things that's going to challenge your thought process. It's going to challenge it. And, um, and, and, and this should be very, very profound when you look at this. You see, when you have men before you in your life um, that has had impact and carried the message, these men, as fallible and flawed as they are, there's been a few that actually has proceeded forth from Yah, they came through Yah to be a witness here in this earth for us. And while these men had titles that we could all receive, such as deliverer, um, leader, guidance, Boy, I tell you, people choke on this one. That men in Israel who had the ability to deliver Yah's people, the word deliver and the word savior is used interchangeably. Now, while these men are not the one and only Savior. They are Saviors. Meaning they help save Yah's people. And of course Abraham will be considered a Savior. Moses will be considered a Savior. Um, David a Savior. Now, if Yah can use these men and define them as saviors mm -hmm. in the Bible, which we're going to go over, then you got to ask yourself a question. What is the problem with people today have an issue with Jesus, Yahshua, being the Savior? So what we're going to do is we're going to First of all, get rid of our European mindset that tries to discern and think itself to be the be-all and end-all of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do what we can to go back to the original and define words from a Hebraic perspective as opposed to trying to understand this from... Our captivity, our slave language, given to us by our European counterparts. So, when you look at this, we're going to define first the words. In Hebrew 4480, and if you want to know where I'm going, you can go to Isaiah 43, verse 11. Go ahead, teach. Isaiah 43, verse 11. And I want everybody to listen because I'm, I'm sure that this should enrich your soul today. Isaiah 43, verse 11, read. I, mm -hmm. even I, am Yahweh. Uh-huh. And beside me, there is no Savior. Okay, beside me. I think that's the first thing we need to deal with. The first thing we need to deal with is going to deal with this word beside and it's very important that we deal with this word beside because we don't, you know, when you say beside, we talking about, in other words, there's no one in addition. There's no one next to me. Is that right? All right. But that word in the Hebrew, and let me make sure I pull this up here on my scriptures over here. Isaiah 43, verse 11. We in class today. We don't chew bubble gum in class.
The word besides is Hebrew 44 80. And from the Browns driver digs definition, it means from on account of side of which prepositions going down to a different one is that is not or of above than. Then you go to the Strong's. It means among because then through and whether with. To break that all down in layman's terms, that means to come out from, meaning he is the source. Um, and he is the one that sends that which comes forth from him. Now, the next word is in the Brown Driver's Briggs is 1107. 1107, which chains is the, is the word right next to the Hebrew 4480 besides. And that word means to bring even a better definition to come out apart from except without besides. In other words, nothing comes into the world except it comes from or proceeds from the Father. Do y'all get that? Hebrew 11 07 You go to Brown Driver Briggs Again it says Apart, except, besides You go to Strong's You're going to get all these occurrences down there um, Not till Except, without, besides Save or without and again, to put all that together without bringing a bunch of confusion, besides means apart from except without besides mean nothing is apart from him. Everything is comes through him. And there's nothing without him, basically. So when he when Isaiah says, I even I am Yahweh, and beside me there's no savior. It's saying that he is the source. And he sends that which comes forth. It also means nothing comes into this world except it comes and proceed forth from the Father. And I'm telling you, you gotta go a hell of a lot more deeper than what I'm already dealing with as 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 with right now with what's given to us. When you go to the word Savior, Hebrew 3467, it means to save, to be delivered. Yasha is the word. Many is the word for besides. To be liberated, to be delivered, to be victorious, uh, to be saved from moral troubles. Okay, saved from moral troubles. All right. So there's a lot of false doctrines out there today. That's trying to tell you that there's no such thing that a man cannot save people. And they have to be, you have to have sacrifices and animal sacrifice and all. And you can't have it. That's, that's wrong. That's not what the book is saying. Y'all sent someone to you. Let's go from the regular man from saviors, which we're going to go over these scriptures. And many of you, let me give you an example. Many of you hold me in high regard and high respect. That's because of who I came from and proceeded from and through the born-again set-apart spirit. Not the natural man, mm -hmm. the born-again set-apart spirit. Yes, emphasis. Yes. Yeah, emphasis added. <laughs> Meaning he gave you a witness when you heard the word or the voice. Now, whose word is it? Whose message is it? Mm -hmm. It comes from for the Father. Yes. In other words, he gets all the glory. That's the reason why we always say all praises yes. to the Most High God. Hallelujah. We are in a role, doing a role, which we have been called to. Yes. Fallible, flawed, funky, yes. um, sinful, yes. righteous, unrighteous, um, overcomer, jack leg. I can go on and on and on. 
And that goes for all of you too. Because there's none good, no, not one. But Yahweh has always used men to deliver or save his people. Yes. They were saviors, but they were not the savior. Meaning the one. The one is Yah mm -hmm. himself, Yahweh, period. So when people are trying to tell you that there is no real Jesus, i.e. Messiah, Yahshua, Savior and King, they don't lost their mind. And if there can be a man, naturally, that can be called Savior, then no doubt when the Father says, without me, beside me, there is no Savior. In other words, without him, no doubt then he's the Savior. Yes. Period. Point blank. Yes. And that's why we say all praises to the Most High God. So Amen. Yah has raised up men to be able to bring forth the message of the everlasting gospel. And to preach it, to teach it, to tell you, he opened your understanding that you might understand the scripture. And you ended up being saved yes. from death. That's what you end up being saved from. Hallelujah. You end up, end up being saved from the second death. And Yah gave you a witness through those men. That he used to open up your understanding. Again, these men came through because of the set apart spirit. Yes. These men proceeded forth from through the born again spirit yes. of Yah. And that's how you know that it is Yah's word. That's how you know this is Yah's work. Mm -hmm. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Now you can begin to understand as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. So is his message, but he's using men to carry the message. Yes. Does that make sense? All right. We're going to go to Judges chapter 2, verse 16. Is everybody all right? I want y'all to listen real good. Real good. Judges chapter 2. Verse 16. Giving y'all a little time to get there. Because you're going to need this. I hope y'all writing down too. And Pastor Dow is going to come by and check every last one of y'all homework. How are you going to do that? I'm going to ask the father. All right, teach. We're going to read all the way down to verse 19 to prepare you. We'll read verse 16. Nevertheless, uh -huh. Yahweh raised up judges. Who raised up the judges? Yahweh. Yahweh raised up the judges. Come on. Which? Which did what? Delivered them. Stop right there. Which did what? Delivered them. So Yah raised up judges. 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 All right. The people who are there to pronounce sentence. <laughs> also those who are designed to passively litigate and that's Hebrew 8199 people who have the right to condemn, to contend, to defend to execute, to be a judge to execute judgment to rule by reason now nevertheless Yah raised up judges is that right? which did what teach? delivered them delivered them, the word delivered Yasha. Hebrew 34, 67. Deliver them. Help them. Preserve them. Rescue them. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Salvation. Save. In other words, guess what? They are saviors. They delivered them out of the hands of those that spoiled them. Yes. Notice. Yah, the giver of all good gifts, yes. raised up judges, men, was delivered, meaning his people Israel from captivity, out of the hands of those that spoiled them. And Hebrews 34, 67 says, Yasha, that is 
to avenge, defend, deliver, help, preserve, rescue, save, bring salvation, having salvation, Savior, save, Savior to get victory. So he used men yes. to save his people. He used men to deliver his people. Are we getting this? Are we comprehending this? Are we understanding this? So, using modern day understanding, that's who I am. I am a man that has been sent to deliver Israel. I am not the Messiah. Never will be. As Simone Kepler said, I'm not even worthy to unlatch the shoelaces mm -hmm. of his shoes or his sandals. And I am the least of all men in Israel. Every single one of you are greater than I. Every single one of you. Alright. Read on verse 17. And yet they would not hearken unto their judges. And yet they won't listen to the judges. See, back then Israel wasn't listening to the judges. Just like today, you ain't listening either. Alright. Now, if Yah put that type of confidence in man to be a deliverer for his people back then and he's doing it now, shouldn't you be careful how you approach them? Lest you be find yourself kicking against the pricks? Amen. Lest you be fighting against Yah himself? Think about that. And read verse 17 again. And yet, they will not they would not hearken unto their judges. But when what? But they went a whoring after other mighty ones. Go ahead. And bowed themselves unto them. Keep going. They turned quickly out of the way. Uh huh. Which their fathers walked in. Come on. Obeying the commandments of Yah. But they did not so. Do you know how much of a motivation source that I am in this day and hour to help make sure? That you stay close to Yah and to keep you in the commandments and the love of Yah? Do you know how much labor of love that I have to put in on a daily basis? Especially when we're feeding you the, the engrafted word of Yah which is able to save, deliver yes. your soul. Yes. Do you know how much we have to put in? I mean, you, are you beginning to understand this? Now, if there was a natural man that was sent by Yah to save, deliver his people, yes. then tell me how, why I come, or how is it that there cannot be one Messiah that could be the savior of all Israel? These people are off. Way off. <laughs> so we're here to teach you to lead you back the right way to make sure you stay in the love of Yah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In other words, just like Brother Daniel and them said last night, there ain't no such thing, no one saved, always saves. We have to be saved every day, every week, every month, and every year. We have to. We have to be saved all the time. Saved. Read on. And when Yahweh raised them up, Judges. Who raised them up, judges? Yahweh. Come on. Then Yahweh was with the judge. Yahweh was what? With the judge. Yahweh was with the judge. Come on. And delivered them out of the hand of their enemies. Now, look, how many times, how, many, how was it when y'all came to this ministry and the first thing you learned was about demons? And Yah used this vessel as well as other vessels in the ministry that are saviors, that are judges, to help deliver you out of the hands of this damn wicked ass devils that we have to fight against all the damn time. Yes. All these spiritual devils. Yes. Think about that for a second. Because he's still using the same word judge or the word deliver, excuse me, deliver. Avenging them, defending them, help them to preserve them, to rescue them, to bring or having salvation, savior, or get victory. 
See, so the word deliver encompasses a hell of a lot more yes. than just putting a, a plaque up on a building that said Church of Deliverance. Come on. <laughs> so true. There's some people that's going to have to carry the message which proceed forth from Yah. Yes. And the power which proceed forth from Yah. Yes. And I'll say it and i reiterate it again. Paul said, you knew my infirmity in the flesh. Mm -hmm. That even after knowing it, you didn't even despise me. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Read on. And delivered them out of the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge. Of the what? Of the judge. judge. Meaning as long as that judge was alive. Yes. Read on. For it repented Yahweh because of their groanings. Because of their what? Groanings. Come on. By reason of them that oppressed them and vexed them. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Read that one more time. And when Yahweh raised them up judges, then Yahweh was with the judge and delivered them out of the hand of their enemies uh -huh. all the days of the judge. All the days of the judge. As long as the judge was around, Yahweh was providing deliverance. Yes. <laughs> I got a question. If something ever happened to Pastor Dow, would you continue in his word with the same fervency and the same zeal? Would you? Because right now, Right now, we're being delivered from a hell of a lot, and some of us choose not to be delivered. True. But right now, we've been delivered from a hell of a lot of damn demons. Yes. We've been delivered from a hell of a lot of oppression. Oh, yes. Yeah, y'all sent forth a savior, mm -hmm. a judge. A judge, yes. Now, y'all hear me? You people that own communities, you have saviors there, judges, that are there to be an example. There's only one perfect example, and that's Yah. Yes. We are perfect in the state that we're in as we go on to perfection. Yes. So don't get it mixed up. I got Yah in you and in, in me, and you got Yah in you too. But we still got sin, hell, and the devil to battle and fight. Definitely. And to overcome. And the whole idea is to continue to keep delivering us out of the hands of the enemy. And I keep saying, I put an emphasis. That's why I'm taking this very slow right now. You see, because right now, everybody is motivated. You know what happened when Moses left the scene? Mm. He told you what was going to happen. Yeah. And you know what Joshua had to deal with with Israel? And then after Joshua, you know what happened to us? That's why it's very important that you keep your ears tuned to the ones that Yah has sent to you that proceeded forth from him, that came from him, bringing his message, his word, his truth, his salvation, his deliverance. Yes. And I keep saying it, and I'm going to say it again and again and again. That's why we continue to keep saying all praises to the Most High Yah. Hallelujah. All praises to the Most High Yah. Because nothing comes into this world except it comes forth or it proceeds from the Father. Yes. Am I just the one who said he created good and evil? Everybody getting this? Everybody getting good? Read on. For it repented Yahweh because of their groanings. By reason of them that oppressed them and vexed them. 19. And it came to pass when the judge was dead. When the judge was what? Dead. Read on. That they returned and corrupted themselves. See, that's what I'm asking. When my time is up, are you going to return back to the weaker beggarly elements of this world and of this earth and corrupt yourselves? Why do you think that when you come here, especially during the feast, you have so much honor and respect for me? I know that you love me as a brother, but the honor and respect that you love me for is because of the spirit yes. that proceeds forth out of my mouth. 
from the greater one that is in me yeah. than he that is in the world. He is the yes. one that does the ministering. Um, Y'all is the one who says he sent forth his angels and he sent forth us as ministering spirits yeah. to minister to them who are the heirs yeah. of salvation. Yeah. So you should put a hell of a lot of emphasis Amen. on why you're here. Because you could still be in darkness if y'all didn't bring you out of it. And he designed this by the foolishness of preaching to save them, to deliver them that believe. And many of you didn't even know you was a believer. Come on. Whew. And we say it again, all praises to the Most High God. How do you think that every time you come to this broadcast that this well ain't never dry? You can't exhaust the word. No. Oh, I heard that before. You didn't hear it on this wise. Come on. Because it came from Yah. It proceeded forth from Yah. So beside him, there is no Savior. Do you begin to understand the word beside now? I hope y'all listening because we, we're, we're really digging this in. Yes. Come on. That they returned and corrupted themselves more than their fathers. And following other mighty ones to serve them. And to bow down unto them. They cease not from their own doings. Nor from their stubborn way. Y'all hear that? Do y'all hear that? So, every good gift comes from above. And is sent forth from the Father. Obey them to have a rule over you. Y'all better pay attention and stop making light of the commandments. What is these zeros for? We done lost something. Stream went down. We're still going. Our end still going. Look like we're still going. Y'all need to check over there and straightway live. Yeah, it might need refreshing. Refresh, refresh because we are over here at straightwaytruth.com forward slash live. We still up. So y'all check YouTube over there. Yeah, it's YouTube because I can see it over here. It's frozen over here. So David is already in the refresh mode. Yes. Let's hope we get back on. Hey, it, it, it's electronic. It's computerized. So, hey, what, what you expect? I'm not going to proceed forward with the message until I know we're on. Yeah, that's right, Brother Kabir. A virtuous woman does add years to a man's life. I don't know where you're getting that from, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Brother Freeman said it's back up. Okay. We back up. All right. Woo, boy, they rapid fire on that. Boy, whoa. Everybody's like, oh, no, please, please, please. <laughs> well, oh, oh, you mean you're, you're ready to hear Ooh. the word of Yah, who is the only Savior. <laughs> but right now he's using a judge and a savior to help save you. Uh -oh. Huh? You can hear it now. <laughs> oh, Pastor, I just called himself Messiah. What I just got finished reading, man. I did not say that, did I? Nope, you didn't. And will never say it. Take heed how you hear. I am a deliverer. <laughs> I am help saving some of you who can be saved. That's the reason why the Most High says you better be careful because of offenses. Yes. Because offenses will stop you from hearing. Yes. Offenses will keep you from honoring and having respect from what Yah has sent forth. Yes. You ain't never seen people leave his ministry and how they rise up against me and not knowing that they ain't fighting against me, they fighting against Yah? I was like you in this wicked ass world. Doing my own thing until one day he turned around and said, uh, you going to go. I'm going to go where? You're going to go and do my word. I'm going to do what? I just want to sit here and just eat up this word and listen to everybody else. No. You're gone. You're going you're gonna to preach my word. You're going to be a minister. What? Yep. Sin. Yeah, a pastor. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Nah, -uh, I'm happy right here. Well, too bad. It's a good thing I didn't say I ain't going either. Because oh, right. I didn't know Jeremiah back then. 
But what if I said, no, I ain't either. I'm going to sit right here in the army and I'm going to, I got 10 more years ago, I'm going to retire. You know what happened, right? I'd have done something stupid as hell. Don't know how in the hell I did it. I would have got Article 15 and got discharged from the army. Yep. Then if I still said I wasn't going to go and, and I'm sitting up here enjoying my family, he'd have took my family away from me. That's how the most high bargains. Yes. When you are a bond servant, you are bound. And you ain't got nowhere on this earth you can run or hide from. How can you run and how can you hide from someone that is in you? Mm. He definitely knows how to make you feel uncomfortable. Ooh. He can make you feel very uncomfortable. He can reach you quick. <laughs> I promise you. He's so close to you, the word is not the even in thy mouth. Wow. That's close. That's pretty damn close. <laughs> That's pretty damn close. That is close. I hope y'all listening. Let's go to Judges 3 9 teach. Look at that word. Karus Rala has sent them. We ain't gonna hopefully ain't gotta read that one. Go to Judges chapter 3. Y'all got this, chapter 3, verse 9. Read on. And when the children of Israel cried unto Yahweh. All right, so they're in a particular condition, a state of mind, a place, and they cried unto the, to Yahweh. Come on. Yahweh raised up a deliverer. Hold on, wait a minute. Yahweh did what? He raised up. Now, why do you think that right now that the Most High Yah is raising up true saviors that true deliverers that have his spirit, like was what was prophesied in Jeremiah and Joel and Ezekiel. That was prophesied of. Definitely by those three prophets. And then it came to pass on the day of Pentecost. Yes. Is that right? Came to pass, yes. And he still doing what he said he was going to do, which is preach the word everywhere. Yes. How's he doing it? Through saviors, through judges. That's how he's doing it. Amen. To help deliver the people of Israel. But notice, Yahweh raised up a deliverer to the sons of Israel. Mm -hmm. What did he do, teach? Who delivered them? Even even Othniel, uh -huh. the son of Canaz, uh -huh. Caleb's younger brother. Caleb's younger brother was a deliverer? What? In the world. What? What? In, what? No wonder so much horrific things happen to people when they put their mouth on me and start pronouncing judgments on me. Mm -hmm. I tell you, we could sit in here right now and be here to six o'clock this evening running down all the people who rose up against me, rose up against me and this ministry. What the book say? You better be careful what you do unto these men. Mm -hmm. Very you think you're fighting against man. You better be careful because you're going to be finding yourself fighting against Yah himself. Mm. Very true. Uh, again, let's ask ourselves a question. Where will we be at today in this ministry if you could not hear or no longer hear the voice of Pastor Dow. And I say that because I know who is the power and the influence behind that voice. Ah, yes. What if y'all cuts off this voice from his people? True. What if he does it? What will we be at right now? Oh, I'm sure that the word will still go forth. Will it go forth with profoundness? And conviction. Don't know. The words still go forward, but you understand that there's a difference in voices. Mm -hmm. Paul says, there are as if there may be in this world so many different kinds of voices. And every voice gives a particular sound. Yes. Every voice is has significance. Every single one of them.
you better start praying for me like I ask y'all to. That the Most High Yah will continue to give me utterance. Where did I get that from? The word. I got it from the Word, didn't I? Yes. I ask y'all humbly to pray yes. for me so that the Most High Yah will continue to keep giving utterance because just like you, man, I got, I got challenges. I got fights. I got to overcome, man. I got things I got to deal with. I got pressures of this ministry. I, I'm in pearls. I got to deal with these damn heathens out here to come. I mean, yes. that's a lot of stuff. And the prayer is, is that the word don't be hindered. Yes. Hope y'all listening. Start verse, Judges 3 verse 9 to begin. Start again. Yeah. And when the children of Israel cried unto Yahweh. Come on. Yahweh raised up a deliverer to the children of Israel. So Yahweh is the one who raised up the deliverer. Yes. Is that right? That's right. The deliverer. Is that right? That is right. Y'all raised up the deliverer. Who's that deliverer? Someone to help, to rescue, to make you safe, to bring salvation, to save, to, to be a savior, to get victory. Hebrew 3467. Come on. Who delivered them even Othniel, the son of Kenaz, Caleb's younger brother. So we see that this one, they actually told you who it was. Mm-hmm. The first one he used plural that we read over in Judges 2, meaning many. This one he used an individual, meaning one. Go to Judges 3.14. Everybody, are y'all thus far understanding, comprehending, or getting this message? Come on. So the children of Israel served Eglon, the king of Moab, 18 years. 18 long years. Come on. But when the children of Israel cried unto Yahweh, Yahweh raised them up a deliverer. Did y'all hear that? He raised them up a what? A deliverer. Read on. Ehud, the son of Gerah, a Benjamite, a man left-handed. And by him, the children of Israel sent a present. Unto Eglon, the king of Moab. So all you got to do is read it again. Read the story. You'll see the reason why. But again, he was a deliverer or what? Savior. Is that right? He was a deliverer or what? A savior. Savior. Did y'all hear that? A deliverer or savior. Now mind you, the same word that is used for deliverer is the same word as used for the English savior. savior. Yes. Same word. Used interchangeably. Same word. Again. Emphasis added. Who is the one that raised up this deliverer? Yahweh, Yahweh is. Yes. And all praises to the Most High Yah. Hallelujah. Who is the one who sent this deliverer? Yahweh. Yah did. But Yah used these men to deliver his people. Yes. And he called them saviors. Yes. Are we getting this? Do you see how important this is? Oh, yes. To really get this? Yes. To, uh, this is very important. Yes. Extremely important. Coherence and clarity. Yes. And I got to say this, and I got to keep answering this. Listen, Yah is the only one without sin. Yah is. We were born in sin, shaping in iniquity. And in sin did our mother conceive us. Yes. And we're still being rescued and delivered from sin even to this very day. Oh, hallelujah. And we're still going to be you. delivered and rescued from sin even in the future. Ah, praise Yah. So don't turn around and look at these judges or saviors as if they're the most high. Now you're starting to get into man worship. Yes. That's when you start getting into fear of man bringing the snack. Yeah. Yes. Because if your damn savior fails you, what are you going to do? Go to the pit from there then? You going to go get saved by the fire? Mm. We got to put this mind in the right place. Yes. Good perspective. Yes. Now, do you know that Yah knows the beginning from the end? Yet and still, he chose me. Yet and still, he chose Pastor Corey. Shepherds. Deliverers. Saviors. Mm -hmm. He chose the elders. People be tripping me out, man, when they talk about... Um, he chose the teachers. People trip me out when they think they, they say, man, I want to be. 
I want to be a pastor. I want to be an elder. I want to be a preacher. I want to be a teacher. And I go, you can tell that person ain't called of y'all. No, 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 no. No. This ain't, you don't go to the school out here and get letters like Ron Young did. No. You may be sent by that damn school of divinity, dumb vanity, dumb vanity. Yes. Emphasis added. You may go to the cemetery. Seminary, cemetery, to the school of dumb vanity, what they call duh vanity, but dumb vanity. But you get your approval from that school. You didn't get it from y'all. You get your letters from that school. That school sent you. Y'all didn't send you. Amen. True. Is this making sense? Now, I'm not trying to be funny here, damn it. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to get y'all minds in the right place. Now the question is. Who gave the saviors? Yahweh did. Is that right? Is everybody getting this so far? Is there everybody all right? Everybody getting this? Are we clear so far? Before we proceed forth, I want to know if we're clear. If you're getting wore out on this, if it's too much, if it's too much, let me know. We're already almost an hour in, and we can cut this short. But if we cut this short right now, you won't have the end of this message for understanding. Yes. I'm giving y'all a chance to shout and holler, I mean. <laughs> Glory to the king. All right. Good. Everybody's saying we clear on this. Let's go on a little bit farther. So, when you have respect, when you have honor, um, when you have, what's some more words I can use in some parallels of synonyms? Reverence, Reverence yeah. and all that for me. Believe me, I understand what's going on. And I don't take it personally. I, mean. I know exactly what you're doing. I know you're giving reverence and honor to the spirit yes. that is in me that brings forth and proceed forth this word and the power. Yes, Believe me, I get it. <laughs> I know that, that, that that's like, for instance, let me give you an example to show you what I'm talking about. Um, a police officer. Is a human being. Yes. We can have natural and mutual honor and respect for each other. Yes. But you respect more the power that he uses that has been given to him, mm -hmm. granted to him from the government. Yes. Because you ain't scared of that police officer. You ain't scared of that man. You just scared of these damn laws. And these laws are unseen. Yet and still, they're written. Yes. They and that's the reason why they're called law enforcement. Yes. That's for the good ones. If there's any good ones. Yes. But you ain't afraid of that damn man. It's the uniform that you have respect for. Yes. So he ends up receiving that respect, but when he starts taking it on himself as if he's the be all and end all and stuff and become abusive to his power. Yes. That, that's when shit start going all right. That's wrong. Just making sense. So I know that you love me because I love y'all. And y'all first loved us. I mean. I know that. And I know that you have respect and honor and obedience. And I realize that you... At times play obeisance to me. You know, brothers do like that. Um, but they're reverencing my fear and obedience to the most high y'all. Now I'm asking that y'all pray for me that the word of y'all be not hindered. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that a vile prayer? That's a viable prayer, yes. That's a, that is that is a viable prayer. All right. Let's go to Nehemiah. Chapter 9, verse 24. 
Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 24. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Shabbat shalom, shabbat shalom, shabbat shalom. This word is good. You know we're taking our time right here, right? Yes. This word is good. So if I go out here and slap the neighbor's uh, mama who sassed it off to me, that still don't make me, that still does not affect my calling as a judge, as a man of y'all. Yes. Does that make any sense? It probably wouldn't slap her if she showed honor. <laughs> Hallelujah. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 24, read on, teach. So the children went in and possessed the land. Uh huh. And thou subduest before them the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, and gavest them into their hands with their kings and the people of the land, mm -hmm. that they might do with them as they would. Mm -hmm. And they took strong cities. And a fat land, and possessed houses full of all goods, wells digged, vineyards and olive yards, and fruit trees in abundance. Mm -hmm. So they did eat, and were filled, and became fat, Boy. and delighted themselves mm -hmm. in thy great goodness. Keep reading. Nevertheless, they were disobedient. They were what? Disobedient. Come on. And rebelled against thee. Mm. And and cast thy law behind their backs. Now, that's the key part. Cast the what? The law. And what's the one thing you always reminded of in this ministry? The law. The law. We yeah. always talk. Matter of fact, we talk about the law so much that people come to this channel, they go to YouTube, they go whatever, and they literally get sick and tired of us talking about the law. Yes. Because they've been dumped down to an unprecedented level in Christianity that now... The law has become a curse to them for doing it. Yes. Read on. And slew thy prophets, which testified against them, to turn them to thee. Now, can you imagine the condition of the people that at this time they were killing the prophets because they didn't like their wickedness being exposed? Yes. Come on. And they wrought great provocations. That means they great they walked great scorn and blaspheming. Read on. Therefore. And this is the verse we put an emphasis on is Nehemiah 9, verse 27. Come on. Therefore thou deliverest them into the hands of their enemies. Into the hands of who? Their enemies. Read on. Who vexed them. And in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven. And according to thy manifold mercies, Thou gavest them saviors. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus ain't on the scene right now. No. So who is he talking about then? <laughs> now wait, he said, and when they cried unto him, mm -hmm. you heard them from Shemaim. Yes. And according to your manifold yes. mercies. Mercies. You gave them <laughs> savior. savior. You mean to tell me that whenever the Most High Yah raises up a man, to help deliver you, preserve you, to rescue you, to help bring salvation to you, to be a savior, mm -hmm. to help give you victory. You mean to tell me that Yah is the one who gave them? Yes. Yah is the one who gave them? Yah is the one who gave him. See, emphasis added. Yes. Emphasis added again and again and again. Who does this? <laughs> Yah. Yah does. Yes. What? Where would you be at today if Yah took away the pastors, the elders, and the teachers of this ministry? Where would you be at today in your understanding? <clears throat> oh, you can read the Bible. But you can't get understanding until it comes from a preacher, from a pastor. Mm -hmm. 
That's why continually the revelation keeps flowing. Because when he said in Jeremiah 3.15, and I, talking about Yahweh, he is, I and I will give you, look, and he says right here, according to his manifold mercies, yes. he gave them saviors. Yes. No, 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 saviors to do what, brother saying? Who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. Saved them out of the hand, and this was a physical deliverance. Mm. Now we're in spiritual deliverance. Think about that for a second. Yes. And I will give you pastors according to my heart. Well, you don't look like a man after y'all's own heart. I don't know what they look like. But that's not for you to pick and choose and decide. No. no. Stay in your place. Yes. The book said when the spirit of the ruler rise up, you better stay in stay your in place. place. And I might add my word in that, damn it. Yes. Emphasis. Much emphasis. Because <laughs> I'm still going to be saved. Are y'all hearing this? Pastor Cor is still going to be saved. Yes. The elders and teachers still going to be saved. Y'all, in case y'all haven't figured it out, we've been doing this a long time. And we ain't tired yet. And I will give you pastors according to my heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And according to thy manifold mercies, thou gave them saviors who were saved them out of the hand of the enemy. Read on. But after they had rest, uh huh, they did evil again. They did what? Evil again. They did what? Evil again. Read on. Before thee. Therefore, leftest thou them in the hand of their enemies, so that they had the dominion over them. Mm. Yet when they returned and cried unto thee, Thou heardest them from heaven, and many times, many times, many times, didst thou deliver them? Isn't that something? Come on. According to thy mercy. So guess what? Even when you are hearing us, it's according to Yah's manifold mercies. It ain't a light thing to come and sit down in that tabernacle. It's not a light thing for you to be sitting here today. Hearing his word. There's nothing light about it at all. This is very serious business. Yes. And if you have ears to hear, that's because the most high Yah Come is on. the one who gave you these ears. Ah, yes. Remember, the prayer is, is that you open their understanding that they might understand the, the scriptures. scriptures. And remember, the scriptures cannot be broken. And this is Yah's doing, and it's marvelous Amen. in our eyes. So again, we say all praises to the most high Yah. Amen. Come on. And testified against them that thou mightest bring them again to what? Unto thy law. Anytime. Why is it that we always got to come to? We went Christianity away from the law and we still had to be saved out of that. Yes. Damn. I mean, so true. Mm. We get saved and he takes us out of the damn Christianity. Yes. And we got to be saved from that because it's a damn pagan ass wicked system yes. that's trying to keep us from his law, but he's. He, he gave us saviors, yes, judges, judges to yes. bring us back again to His law. Got to be governed, yes. All oh, praises to the Most High Yah. Hallelujah. So when Jesus said, "I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the light, and no man comes unto the Father but by Me," you need to look at it. In other words, I proceed forth from the Father, and the only way you're gonna get to the Father, you got to come. Through me. <laughs> yes. When he says I and the Father are one, one. He already told us over in First John that, that, that we all may be one. Yes. Oh. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. In the beginning was the word. And the word was Yah, and the word was with Yah, and the word was Yah. Yes. I had to make sure I say that again. <laughs> any of this making any sense whatsoever at all? If y'all shouting right now, put a seven in the chat room. <laughs> Come on. Keep going. Yep. 
They dealt proudly. And that's what we're trying to hopefully keep all of us from, is from dealing proudly. Mm -hmm. Come on. And hearken not unto thy commandments. See, and they hearken not to his commandments. And the whole, man, we be talking, we talk about these commandments so much, yes. man. Yes. Lord, to the king, we talk about these commandments so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <sighs> Read on. But sinned against thy judgments. Uh oh, oh. Which, if a man do, he shall live in them. Come on. And withdrew the shoulder and hardened their neck. Mm, mm, mm. And would not hear. And of course, what happened to all those people that did that? They end up perishing in their sins. Obadiah. Obadiah. Nineteen. There's only one chapter in there anyway. Obadiah one nineteen. Okay. Or well, just nineteen. We're gonna read verse twenty one. Okay. And they of the south shall possess the Mount of Esau. Uh huh. And they of the plain the Philistine. Uh huh. And they shall possess the fields of Ephraim mm -hmm. and the fields of Samaria and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. Come on. And the captivity of this host of the children of Israel mm -hmm. shall possess that of the Canaanites. Go ahead. Even unto Zarephath. And the captivity of Jerusalem which is in Shepherd shall possess the cities of the south. Mm-hmm. And save yours. And what? Save yours. And what? Save yours. Read on. Shall come up on Mount Zion. Now isn't that something? Mm. Was it talking about the Messiah? Was it talking about men? It was talking about men. Men that y'all raised up. Period. Y'all getting this? Y'all getting this? I had to put my serious face on, man. <laughs> saviors. 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 Men, which y'all raised up. Men, which y'all raised up. Y'all get this. This camera, I don't know why the camera does that, boy. Are y'all getting this? Reverse 21 again. And saviors shall come up on Mount Zion. To do what? To judge the Mount of Esau. And? And the kingdom shall be Yahweh's. And the kingdom shall be Yahweh's. I mean, all the glory to him. Amen. Are we getting this now? We, we got this so far, right? We, we do got this so far, right? So now, let's just for a minute, we're giving you plenty of scripture. Is that right? We give you plenty of scripture to show you that men can be saviors. Ones that Yah raises up. Yes. Who has his spirit. His spirit, yes. Just like David had Yah's spirit. Abraham, Yah's spirit. Moses, Yah's spirit. Come on. He gave his spirit, right? Uh -huh. Now, let's go to Isaiah 45, starting verse 4, going to read down through verse 7. Y'all all right? Mm. Are y'all all right? 45, 4. Go ahead. Isaiah 45, verse 4. Yep. For Jacob, my servant's sake, uh -huh. and Israel, mine elect. Come on. I have even called thee by thy name. Go ahead. I have surnamed thee. Come on. Though thou hast not known me. Now, come on. I am y'all. He is what? I am Yahweh. Come on. And there is none else. There is none else. Read on. There is no Elohim beside me. We know what besides mean, right? We we got that down, right? We do have that down. And we're going to paraphrase it and bring it on up. There's nothing that comes into this world except it comes or proceeds forth from him. Yes. Period. Nothing. Everything that proceeds forth and comes through the creator. It proceeds forth from the Father. Read on. I girded thee, though that how thou hast not known me. Who did that? Yahweh. He did all that 
for every single one of us, even though we did not know him. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's why I thank him for pulling me out of sin and iniquity and transgression. I do. And still pulling me. Ah, bless him. Bless him. Hallelujah. You ever got bad thoughts come to your mind sometimes? Oh, yes. You thought that maybe after all these damn years, that shit would stop, huh? Yeah. No, it ain't getting worse sometimes. Damn. <laughs> the, the war is real. Yeah, it is real. I mean, the devil is only fighting Pastor Dowell and Teacher Shane. That's it. We're the only ones getting our ass whooped. At times. Mm -hmm. We're getting victories. Oh, hell, yes. a lot of them. More Matter of fact, we get a hell of a lot more victories. And defeats, huh? <laughs> hell yeah. I'm telling you, I like the victories. Yes. The defeats, and yeah, forget that. Come on. That they may know from the rising of the sun uh -huh. and from the west that there is none beside him. There is me. none beside him. Y'all understand? So we understand that word beside. We ought to just retranslate that dang word, man, because it's just messing folks up. Mm -hmm. Come on. I am Yahweh. I am the Savior. And there is no whoa, 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 whoa. He is the what? The savior. the savior. Yes. See, when he says he gave Savior, now he's putting emphasis on that he is the Savior. Mm -hmm. You get that? Amen. He is the, the Savior. Amen. Come on. And there is none else. Period. We I, don't. I form the light uh -huh. and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. So where did where did Lucifer come from? Y'all spoke his ass into existence. Yes. He created. He created. All humanity came from Yah. Yes. Y'all formed him out of the dust of the earth. I mean. Yah. God did that. Isaiah 43, verse 11. Everybody all right? I, even I, am the Savior. And beside me, there is no Savior. See, even Yahweh, he's the only one that's the, he's the only one that is, look, notice now, the Savior. Is that right? Is that Isaiah 43, verse 11? Mm-hmm. Read it again. I, even I, am the Savior. Mm -hmm. Am Yahweh. I am beside me. There is no Savior. There is none beside him. And you know what the word beside me now, so hope you're not confused. Mm -hmm. All right, Isaiah 45, verse 21. We got to put this in here. I want y'all to really, truly listen to this. Really listen to this one. Really listen to this one. Tell ye, and bring them there. Come on. Yay, let them take counsel together. Mm -hmm. Who hath declared this from ancient times? Read. Who hath told this from that time? Uh-huh. Have not I the Savior? And there is no Elohim beside me? Only Yah has done this. Come on. A just Elohim and a Savior. Whoa, 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 whoa. A just and a savior. Mm -hmm. And a savior. And a savior. And look what he's put emphasis at it. There is none beside me. There is none beside him, period. There's none beside him, period. Mm -hmm. Now we understand that. So, when we start going over to the renewed covenant, and let's go to Luke. Chapter 1, verse 46 and 47. Everybody doing all right? Come on. And Mary said. What did he say? Mary said, my soul doth magnify the master. So she said, my soul do magnify the master. And read on. And my spirit hath rejoiced and, in Yah and my Savior. So she know her Savior. Oh, yes. She know who he is, right? Right? Luke chapter 2, verse 11. It's pretty good. Yeah, I mean. It's good teaching. Come on. For unto you uh -huh. is born this day uh -huh. in the city of David. Uh-huh. 
a savior. A what? A savior. A savior. Which is Christ the master. Okay, let's look up that word over there. Christ the master. Okay, let me go over and look up this word. Luke 2. All right. Over in verse 11. Savior. Greek 4990. Deliverer. That is Yah or Messiah. That is Yahweh or Messiah, Savior. Yes. What? I mean. What do you do about that, man? What do you do about that? He just got finished telling you. Mm -hmm. That this day is this born in the city of David. That was Jesus, Yahshua. Mm -hmm. A Savior, which is Yah mm -hmm. or Christ. The Messiah. Which is Christ the Messiah. Mm -hmm. Acts 5 verse 31. We getting this? Why? How many times did he tell you that he came from y'all? He proceeded forth from the Father. Mm -hmm. Where did we come from? Where did we come from? We come from the Father. Yes. Especially out of being born anew and set apart. This should be encouraging y'all, man. I mean. This should truly be encouraging y'all. It really should. So you see how nonsensical it is when these people talk about um, that, that, that there's no way that Jesus is the Savior. There's no way he's the Messiah. These people, man, these boogers are off they dang rockers. Come on. Him hath Yah exalted with his right hand to be a prince. To be a what? A prince. And a what? And a savior. For to what? For to give repentance. To what? To Israel. And forgiveness of sin. That's what all that Yahshua did. Repentance and forgiveness of sins. Amen. Hallelujah. Titus. Chapter 3. Verses 4 through 6. Are y'all getting y'all field today? Huh? Are y'all getting y'all filled today? Are you full? <laughs> Take my cup, y'all. Yes. I lift it up, y'all. Lift it up. Lift it up. <laughs> Come and feed <laughs> this thirsting of my soul. <laughs> Bread of heaven. Come on down and feed me till I want no more, which that'll never be. <laughs> you take my cup, I fill it up. And make me whole. All praises to the Most High God. Amen. Titus chapter 3 verse 4 teach. But after that, the kindness. The what? The kindness. The generosity mm -hmm. of the Most High Yah. Huh? The kindness. Why do those words always seem so inadequate though? Mm. You, you know what I mean? It also means gentleness and goodness yes. and excellence. Read on. But after that, the kindness and love of Yah, our Savior. Our what? Our Savior. Our what? Our Savior. Our Savior. Uh huh. Toward man appeared. Whoa, 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 whoa. He appeared. He appeared. He appeared. He appeared. He appeared. How did he appear? He appeared in the flesh of Jesus. Yeah. Yahshua, that's how he appeared. <laughs> our Yah, our Savior. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done. Well, I ain't no way I can say that <laughs> any works save me, man. I mean, I can't think of anything good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come I on. Mean. But according to his what? To his mercy. Yeah, they said over in the law, his <laughs> manifold mercies. Come on. Uh, but according to his mercy, he saved us. He did what? He saved us. He saved us. Come on. By the washing. Mm -hmm. Of regeneration. Yeah, yeah. And, and renewing uh -huh. of the Holy Spirit. Come on. Which he shed on us. Now, if he shed it on us, he had to shed it on us some way, somehow. Yes. How did he do that? He shed on us abundantly. Uh-huh. Through. Through what? Jesus Christ. Isn't that something? The English finally got it right. I mean. Through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Our Savior. Our Savior. 
our, our Savior. And we go back to that word Savior again, which is three, was that 499? Uh, Greek number 4990, which is a deliverer that is Yah or Messiah, Savior. 2 Peter 1 1. Boy, this is good. This is good. Huh? I need to, I'm oh, starting yeah. to tell somebody here, hold my mule while I dance. Yes. Good luck. Come on. Yes. Simon Peter, a servant of and apostle of Jesus Christ to them that have obtained like precious faith. Now, now, let's stop right there. Notice, notice, to them that have obtained like precious faith. Mm -hmm. This is something we've obtained. Yes. Based on what somebody else has done. Oh. <laughs> we're, we are benefits. We're benefiting. Woo! And we are the beneficiaries based on what somebody else has done. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. All the tender mercies of Yah. Yes. Read on. With us. Mm -hmm. Through the righteousness of Yah and our Savior. Through the righteousness of Yah and our Savior. Jesus Christ. You can't make it no more clear than that. You can't make it no more clear than that. That's the reason why the word said, and Yah was manifested in the flesh. Yes. You understand that? Manifested in the flesh. Does this make any sense? I mean. Every bit of, I mean, great is the mystery <laughs> of Yah. Yes. Now, it always starts off by saying, without controversy. Without. All right? Without controversy. Great. Is the mystery of Yah. Uh -huh. Huh? Great is the mystery of godliness. Mm -hmm. Great is the mystery of godliness. Yes. Great is the mystery, mystery of holiness. Yes. Great is the mystery of being set apart. I mean. Great is the mystery of godliness. Yes. Yah. Mm -hmm. Yahweh. Yahweh. Yahweh yes. was manifested in the flesh. Yes. Clearly seen. Yes. In the flesh. Declared. Yes. In the flesh. Word. Show forth. Yes. In the who was? Yah was. Yes. Justified in the spirit. spirit. Wow, Yah's a what? Spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in, in truth. And Yah is always looking for the true worshipers. Amen. And the true ones are the ones who worship him in spirit and in, in truth. truth. This Yah was. Yes. Seen of angels. Oh, uh, yes. Preached unto the Gentiles. Uh oh. <laughs> Amen. The Syrophoenician woman heard it, didn't she? Oh, yes, she did. Huh? That Roman centurion heard it, oh, too, yes, didn't he? Did. Oh, yes, he did. No, yeah, yeah, they heard it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Believed on in the world. Well, look at this one. Received up into glory. Y'all was? Y'all was? Y'all was? Received up into glory. Yes. Y'all was? Y'all was? Ooh, wait. Hmm. It's a great mystery. Yes, but without controversy. <laughs> yeah, without a whole bunch of controversy. Man, 2 Peter 2.20. So, these, I can't even give them the glorious title of idiots. <laughs> can't even do that. That would be an insult to the word itself. Yes, sir. But these demonized people who's trying to tell you that Jesus never existed, y'all never existed. You know, basically what they're saying is y'all never existed. Fool. <laughs> yeah. The fool has said in his heart, there is no y'all. You got a lot of people, y'all in trouble. Y'all in some very serious trouble. 
<sighs> Me and Mama Nelly was riding on this para paraglide balloon. It was it's like a parachute, mm -hmm. right? Probably about 120 feet up in there. Boy, you should have seen how small man looks when you're up that high. You should see how small man look when you're up about 800 feet. Ooh, yeah. You understand? Yeah, like little ants. Yeah, we like little ants. <laughs> and you think you something. Mm. Have y'all realized how many people the most high y'all killed in the Old Testament? Man, we look just like ants at that height. And there's about close to 8 billion ants on this earth. Oh yeah, shout out to flat earth because if the earth was round and, and Yahweh came on the top side, how would he be seen from the bottom? <laughs> Just always just throw that in there for that, that always seem to be a bunch of controversy. But if it's flat, it can be seen from one end toward the east to the west. Yes. Second Peter 2.20 teach. For if after that's that's this talking about watch this. It's talking about all of us. Watch this. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world. How do we do that? Through the knowledge of the Master and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, how'd you get that? You, you escape the knowledge. You escape the pollutions of the world by saviors, mm -hmm. people who are called of Yah. And you, we still have to continually be saved. Yes. You just make sense. We still have to continually be saved. Yes. And that's how we escape the pollutions of the world. Oh, definitely. And it came because of the knowledge that Yahshua, Hamashiach, gave us. Yes. The warning is this, read. They are again entangled therein. And what? And overcome. Come on. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. You know... Satan, I'm telling you, he's always working. He's always working. He's working on all of us. You hear me? Mm -hmm. He's truly working on all of us. But boy, we better get this. Yes. We better get this. Cause, cause that that devil man, he ain't never, he ain't never tired. And then he, the warning is, is that the last state is what? Worse with them than the than what? the beginning. Than the beginning. Now. When we go over, and mind you, we went through a lot today. I don't even know. Did we go over Second Kings? I don't think we went. I don't think we went to Second Kings, did we? I don't think so. It ain't gonna hurt. Let's go to Second Kings chapter thirteen, verse four through six. Second Kings chapter thirteen, verse four through six. Thirteen, verse four. And Jehoaz uh -huh. besought Yahweh, and Yahweh hearkened unto him. Come on, for he saw the oppression of Israel, mm -hmm. because the king of Syria oppressed them. All right, now here's the kicker, verse five. And Yahweh gave Israel a savior. You hear that? He gave them a man at that time. Read. So that they went out from under the hand of the Syrians. Mm -hmm. And the children of Israel dwelt in their tents. Come on. As before time. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Now here's our problem. Always seem to be the problem. Read. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. They departed not from the sins of the house of Jeroboam. Who made Israel sin. Boy, it, man, Jeroboam just, anyway. It's a snake. Yeah. 
who made Israel sin, but walked therein. And there remained the grove also in Samaria. So, Yahweh, again, I'm going to put emphasis on verse 5, and Yahweh <laughs> gave Israel a Savior, another yes. deliverer again. So I hope that we're getting this. I really, truly do. I, I really, truly do. Now, David, he told us that Yahweh is our rock, our fortress, our deliverer. And Yahweh is our rock. He's the horn of our salvation, high tower, yes. our refuge, yes. and our savior. Yes. To save us all from violence. Yes. And, and all of us from come violence. On, come on. I want to be saved from violence. Yes. Do you? Mm. Now let's go over to the last book in the Bible. Hmm? The last book in the Bible. Let's go. Revelation 1.1. 1, 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Come on. Which Yah gave unto him. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Things which will shortly do what? Come to pass. Come on. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Ah, uh -huh. verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. So... Let me see. Jesus Christ is coming with clouds. Mm -hmm. Yahshua is coming with clouds. Is that right? I mean. Read on. And every eye. Some. Every eye. Just a few. Every eye. Not the ones in the caves. Every eye. Or the ones that's under the earth. Every eye. Every eye is going to do what? Shall see him. Come on. And they also which pierced him. Ooh. Wee. Mm. Read. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Mm. Even so, I mean. You know, who gonna believe all these words, man? Mm. Read on. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the ending, saith the Master, which is and which was. Let me see. Which is, always has been. Mm -hmm. which, was, which was. And it's talking about in presently on this earth at one time. Come on. And which is to come. And I'm coming again. Same one. Yes. The same, Almighty. Same the what? The Almighty. The what? The Almighty. Mm. And y'all's a spirit, right? Yes. Come on. I, John. Who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of Yah and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Wow. Read. I was in the spirit on the master's day. On the what day? The master's day. Come on. And heard behind me a great voice. As of a trumpet. Say. I am Alpha. And Omega. The first. And the last. And what thou seest. Write in a book. And send it unto the seven churches. Which are in Asia. Unto Ephesus. And unto Smyrna. And unto Pergamos. And unto Thyatira. And unto Sardis. And unto Philadelphia. And unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. This is John on out of Patmos experiencing his revelation of Jesus Christ. Come on. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Mm, sounds like a menorah, don't it? Mm -hmm. Come on. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, uh -huh. one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, 360, one, 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 come on. Like unto the Son of Man. Just a card. One. One. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Mm -hmm. And a and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Read. His head and hairs were white like wool. They were what? White like wool. Read. And white as snow. And what? White as snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a what? 
flame of fire. And his. And his feet. Like unto what? Like unto fine brass. Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. Go ahead. And his voice as the sound of many waters. That sound like that same Elohim that appeared on Mount Sinai. Amen. Come on. Come on. And he had in his right hand seven stars. Uh huh. And out of his mouth went a sharp, two edged sword. Two edged sword. And his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and Lit? was dead. Wait a minute, what, liveth and was dead? Mm -hmm. Come on. And behold, I am alive forevermore, amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Right. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are. And the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand. And the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. And the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. You can't make no more sense out of this man. I mean, I, mean, when, I think we done... Did a good job. I'm not going to say we exhaust this subject, but we sure did pin it down pretty good. Mm -hmm. We pinned it down pretty good this Sabbath. And so I hope um, that people would really, really, truly comprehend what the Most High is doing. I truly do. Um, Yah is good. And will always be good. Always. Um, and whatever you do, make sure you don't lose the fear of God. Never. All right. Whatever you do. I want everybody to be encouraged. We've been here for a while. Um, this is what you think, Teach, about this teaching right here. Very good. Very lawful food. Very needful. Something to put always in the bag. Something to put in the bag. Yes. Times to come. Yeah. Something to put in the bag. <laughs> it's um the most high is still equipping his people. Just when we think that you know he's not there, he's always there. He's always there. Always equipping us, always preparing us, uh never leaving us without a witness. Mean, Never leaving us without a witness. I mean, always in control. Always in control. Always. And I tell you, man, y'all you, you, don't don't understand how much, how 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 beautiful it would be to know, with all this hell that's going on in this earth right now, that the two witnesses will show up. They show up. That's when we can say, "Shall we begin?" Because them two going to be killing a lot of people. Yes. And there ain't going to be no laws. There's going to be no nuclear bombs. Ain't nobody going to come and arrest them. <laughs> ain't that amazing? No. Three and a half years. Of that's, that's three and a half years of torment of these wicked ass people on this earth going to be enduring. Yes. Because they are going to have to be, check this out. They're going to put the cameras out there because they're going to cause so much drama on this earth. That they can't be ignored. So true. Literally, they're not going to be able to control them. They're not going to be able to uh, kill them. They got a point in time for that. And can you imagine the LGBT, the lesbians, the gays, the homosexuals? Can you imagine all of them trying to get them to pass laws to come against them two witnesses? Mm -hmm. And no matter what channel you turn to, they're going to be there? Yes. Because, you know, death, for some reason, makes headlines. And boy, they're going to be killing people. And it's going to be something to see that the powers of this earth is going to be totally powerless against these two. Amen. Totally powerless. It's going to be hilarious 
to sit there and to be able to watch someone trying to arrest these people. That is going to be so funny. To see the word come out of them. The word come out of their mouth and, and just consume. <laughs> and you know what this world would say? Some kind of men of God they are. They, you, you should, first thing they do is start judging. Yeah. First thing you do is start judging. Some kind of man of Yah they was. If they were Yah, they wouldn't be killing folks. That's the reason why they have Yah. Yeah. Out <laughs> there quoting scriptures. Can you imagine going there and quoting scriptures and you get burnt up? I know that them are two men that's coming from Yah. Mm -hmm. Proceed forth from Yah. And they will know Yah's people when they see them. Yes. Hmm? Think about that. We pray this Shabbat that the angel of the Most High Yah continues to be encamped around about those of us that fear him. His great name. But I don't know how things are going to be going on with this so-called plague and stuff. They're already talking about Texas. And a few other places opening up uh, the state. It seemed like travel to me in some areas hadn't been as restrictive. Elder Michigan was able to get in easy in Tennessee because they're, they're really coming in a back way rural area. And we're only like three four miles to the border of Kentucky. Yeah, I mean, we're very close to yeah, Kentucky. Very close. Um, and so there's no way they would have checkpoints. This little old country pastor back here. But um, I hope that everybody is inspired and that they y'all really truly got something out of this teaching today. I, I really truly do. Like I said, I was listening to um, an old man that I um, had listened to some time ago. I hadn't seen him on YouTube in a long, long time. And I saw him doing a little short teaching on this, so I listened to some of it. I said, that's a good teaching, right? I got a good, good old witness, good teaching. I thought I would bring it forth here. Um, but Yah know exactly who we are, and he ain't gonna, he won't forsake us. He can't do that because uh, he said he wouldn't. I just hope that we're prepared mentally and spiritually for for what's getting ready to come down his pipe. Because remember what the book says: He never promised us a bed of ease. He told us and said, through much tribulation shall you enter into the kingdom of Yah. So prepare yourself for trials. Prepare yourself for tribulation. Prepare yourself for hardship. Prepare yourself for annoyances. Prepare yourself for every single thing that there is. Remember, Paul said that he was shipwrecked in pearls. He gave y'all all the glory for his trials, his tribulations, his persecutions, all that. We have to prepare our hearts for that. We really, truly got to get ourselves ready for that. Mm -hmm. Because that's the time when all that is on you, that that, that wicked voice of the flesh is that where is your Yah? That Satan's coming. And he's where he's always been. Right there with us. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you, and I'll be with you always, even until the end of the world. Mm -hmm. And I believe that. Oh, yes. Um, he's never lived, left us or forsake us, never. and we are the remnant of Israel. We're just a small portion of it scattered in his diaspora. But yes, Israel, if you're listening to me, chances are you are a real true Israelite called of Yah. And he's giving you the ears to hear. So continue to keep watching. Continue to keep listening. I thank each and every last one of you for your prayers, your letter of support uh, of this particular ministry right here of the Most High Yah. And to him we give all the glory, yes. praises, and honor. Yes. Hope you enjoyed this day's teaching. And hopefully, we'll see. We'll see if we'll be back um, in the tabernacle next week. We'll just give it a call again and see how things are going. Um, but everything is bode well for us. We miss everyone. Like I know everyone misses us. 
and that's just the truth. Um, I want y'all to be encouraged, every single one of you. I want you to have a wonderful Shabbat. Get yourself some good rest. Hallelujah. Amen. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for this word today. Yes. We thank you for what our souls have been able to eat. We thank you for feeding us this everlasting word. Yes. We need strength and inspiration even more so. We need the anointing to help break all yokes, to yes. encourage us, to inspire us, to fight even harder in this day and time and hour. Grant wisdom unto the Israelites, Father, that they don't do like this world does, that whenever they get a little bit of money in their pockets, they don't go out and buy TVs. Please help us. That's just sad. Help us. All right, encourage us this day. Thank you for this rest you have given us. We love you. We bless you. We thank you for writing our names down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood yes. that which never loses its power. And magnificent name, Yahshua. All right, Israel, Shabbat Shalom. I bless you all. In the sweet presence and strong. And victorious and mighty overcoming name, our soon coming King Yahshua, Hamashiach, Jesus the Christ. Shabbat Shalom, the King. Yep, he coming. Look at him looking.